Yo, what's up, vlog? Today is actually a very sad day. Well, for civic lovers worldwide, because Yumi is being sold. Well, she's actually sold now. The guy's coming to pick her up. I uh, met the dude at Rennie's house. Uh, give him the tag and well, not tag, but the title. Well, I got I had to come home so I could sign the title. Blah blah blah. But yeah, man, Yumi is sold. Now I just gotta find the title now. And that's it. Nope. She's gone. Did I just sold my car. Nigga, I that Dang, it's gone. Well, Civic sold. Uh, what's next? It's been like a couple days since I last uh, sold the car. Well, since the transaction went down. Back to daily driving the Integra. Speaking of why I sold the car, we're gonna go for a ride in the Integra because I have to go pick up something for the transmission from the homie Sean. So I'm gonna put you guys up on the uh, mount thing, camera mount thing, and then we'll uh, we'll go over why I sold the car and what's next for the channel along with potential new car that hopefully I will be getting soon, so. It was too slow, like driving a K24 swapped car or a K series swapped anything, and then going to like a daily driver that just so like, I don't know. Like, I know a daily is supposed to be slow, like, I know, but I don't know, man. It was just something with the Civic where like I just wasn't content with it, you know what I mean? Like, the, the CRV was fun, I should have kept the CRV, but the CRV didn't make sense for content because I wouldn't get the views to maintain, you know, to keep buying parts for the uh. For the CRV, with the Civic, it was easy. Everyone has a Civic. Everybody's first car is usually like a Civic or something. So I wanted to build a Civic, do like a good, great budget build, slower, slower, yeah, slower daily as like a slow lower daily. But I don't know, man. Like I, I, I don't know. Like I grew out of the whole stance thing. I wanted to stance the Civic. I grew out of it. And then I had people like, yo, just boost the Civic. And my thing with that was, I didn't want to put money into that car. Because it'd be the same thing as this. If I put money into like a 90s Honda, I'm gonna wanna do everything I could to it. Like I was already thinking about K-swapping the car because a K-swapped Civic with AC and power steering is, it's ideal. It sounds perfect to do. But, well, I didn't wanna do that. And I just grew bored of the car. Like, there's nothing for me to really do with the Civic aside from swapping it and I didn't wanna swap it. That's something that I did not wanna do. So, I just, decided to sell it and then I sold the car and when I did the whole IFO thing where if you guys were to subscribe I would get two thousand dollars I had 24 hours to get two thousand subscribers and now if I would have got two thousand subscribers that money would have helped me fund the new project car which I want to get which if you guessed RSX Type S that is the goal I do want an RSX Type S 2005 or 2006 I just want an 0506 RSX Type S that's the goal now, I sold the Civic for 2500 bucks. I had it listed for 2800 but you know, when you list something high, you wanna you want get the offer you really wanted. So, let's say I have a car that I want to sell for $3,000. I would list it for 3500 so I can get an offer at three grand, and that would be the price that I wanted. So, the Civic, I just wanted $2,500 for, and that's what I sold it for. And now, I've been on the market looking for RSX's type S. I have three grand cash in hand right now as of the time of this recording for an RSX Type S. I sold Yumi to fund the new project car, or new daily, which would be an RSX because, or an FA5. I wouldn't mind getting an eighth gen uh, four-door Civic Si. I would not, I would very much would rather have an 8th gen than an uh, RSX because four doors, you know what I mean? I can all family, 
you know, whatever the case may be, I have four doors, you know what I mean? And, but I don't know, man, I, I've always wanted an RSX, and that's just like where my heart is set on right now. But if I can find an 8th gen for like three grand or 3,500, yeah, you know what I mean? Good miles, good condition, I'll buy it. But still, I want an RSX. Now, if you don't know, which I'm sure all of you guys know, the whole goal is to get an Evo. Now, what I think is a great idea is I'll buy the RSX, daily the RSX for a little bit, do like a build series on it, you know, make it look nice and cool, sell it, have money already saved up towards an Evo, use the RSX money and, you know, buy an Evo. Like, I don't want to do a loan. I don't want to do payments. I don't want to do none of that. I'd rather just buy an Evo cash. You know what I mean? Put down 15, 14 grand on an Evo cash. Call it a day. I have my dream card that I paid cash for. And I feel like that's the most rewarding thing ever. So that's the goal with that. But yeah, I just grew bored of the Civic and then wanted to just, I don't know, get a new daily, get something a little bit faster that I don't have to put a lot of money to the engine. I mean, with the RSX, all I would need is K-Pro and do bolt-ons, get a tune, make 220 on pump gas or 215, however you much, how much power you make on a K2018 on pump gas. That would be like the goal, you know what I mean? That would be something fast enough, AC power steering, it looks good, perfect. I was also looking at an EP3. I'm supposed to go look at an EP3 today, but I don't know if I want an EP3. I mean, what do you guys think? Get an EP3? I don't know. I don't know. Yumi was cool and all, but... I don't know, man. I see myself in an RSX, dog. An 0506, Lord. A spec front, rear lip, no spoiler. Uh, well, I mean, maybe spoiler, top one motors, rear diffuser. Uh, I don't know, like a nice little look, race car looking daily, you know what I mean? But I'm back dailying the Integra. And how I miss this car driving every single day. I love this car. I love it. Sold the Civic, fun in RSX type S. I'm pretty sure most of you guys are gonna agree with me that that was a smart idea, but if you don't, then get out of the 90s Honda. Like, I'm 24 years old with two 97 Hondas. No, I need something newer, dog. I need something newer. I need an RSX or the 8th Gen SI. I can't be rolling around in two 90s Honda, you know what I mean? I need an RSX. I definitely want an RSX type S. So, if you have an RSX, Type S in Florida for sale. Let your boy know. You know what I mean? As of right now, I got three grand cash. You know, let me get my bands up a little bit. I mean, the most I would spend on RSX is like 4,500, but it, that thing gotta be clean. When I mean clean, it gotta be clean. Low miles, as in like 100, 150,000. Uh, 0506, of course. RSX, for an 02 to 04 RSX, I'm not spending no more than $3,500. That I don't care how clean. I'm not. That's not the RSX that I want. Yeah, it's a K28 too, but I can get a K20Z1. You know what I mean? For $500 more. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I just wanted to get in the car. Make my voyage to Stewart. I don't know. But other than that, um, my hoodies released Black Friday. You guys are probably watching this on Thanksgiving or the day before. I might upload this today. Yesterday I uploaded my Simply Clean video, so I might upload this today. I'm not entirely too sure. Maybe. We'll see. But happy Thanksgiving if I do. Uh, by the time this probably is uploaded, I'll be on the way to Hyper Racing, or I'm actually at Hyper Racing headquarters. So, be sure to tune in to that, I guess, if you're watching this. But I guess that's pretty much it on why I sold the Civic. I mean, we talked about everything. I sold the Civic to fund an RSX Type S. Um, that's the goal. I just, I just put gas in yesterday, and I'm already at half tank. I've just been, I've been, dude, literally, I've been beating the hell out of this car, dog. 
Like, I don't know what it is about this motor, dog. Like, it just wants to go. Like, little baby pool, nothing crazy. But it just wants to go, dog. Like, I just, I don't know. I love this car way too much. I just love it. But I'm glad we can go for a drive. We don't do this anymore. You know, I wish I had the POV and hit the GoPro on the head. Pause. I had the GoPro on the top unit so I can, um, give you guys a POV of me driving the Integra, man. Hitting some corners and stuff, but... Yeah, I guess that's gonna wrap it up for, uh, the driving portion of the video. I guess for the whole video in general. I guess I'll close it out here, but, uh, yeah, man. Let me know what you think down below of me selling Yumi to get an RSX. I mean, it's a no-brainer. That sounds like a smart idea. I'm getting uh, literally a 10-year-old newer car. Well, not 10, but like 8-year-old newer car. Uh, AC. Well, the AC blow is cold as hell in the Civic. But, like, I don't know. It's just newer. Only thing I'm going to hate about the RSX is, like, the subframe. When I got to do, like, a clutch replacement. Uh, and, like, how small the engine bay is. Like, motor mounts. and blah, 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 blah. That's going to be annoying. But be a new platform for me. Plus, all the homies got RSXs. I think that would be dope. We all get cruising our RSXs. You know what I mean? That would be cool. Randy got an RSX. Mike got an RSX. Uh, I think it'd be pretty cool, man. I have something new. I've never had a car older than a 90... Well, what year was the CRV? A 99? I never had a car older than 2000. You know what I mean? Like my women. <laughs> but that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button for you. Well, that would be greatly appreciated. And I'm still grinding sucking. And I'll see you guys in the next one.